Hey, what's going on guys? It's Chase from The Warehouse and I'm here with CJ, Product Line Manager of Helmets for Bauer. Now we're hanging out at Bauer headquarters, checking out these awesome new React 100 helmets. Uh, they look similar, but they just look like a nice evolution of the React. Um, now I was looking at the liner here. Uh, what are the big differences or big changes that we see from that React? There's actually quite a few uh, improvements. We, um, you know, w when we launched the React, we said, hey, this is a state-of-the-art helmet. Is there a way to do better? And immediately when we launched it, we went right back to work and said, okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to you know, come out and attack uh, the three different impacts of the sport of hockey. The high energy linear, low linear energy, and then rotational. And in order to do that, you know, our result was this new React 100. Uh, it looks like you guys made a nice improvement on the liner of this one. So can you tell me a little bit about that? Definitely. You know, we're, we're calling this a Spentec 2. Um, it's, it, again, to your point, it's very similar, but uh, it, it is improved. We're using a, uh, a new system called uh, Flexorb technology, uh, as you can see here. Uh, and the helmet, it's uh, got a more of a darker feature. But what it is, it's, it's pour an XRD molded on a four-way stretch fabric for uh, increased elasticity and stretch to get a little bit more play, more rotation management. And the other cool thing that I saw um, was the 7 technology that was kind of in the back here. What type of impacts are those, or why did you include that, and what type of impacts are they for? Well, 7 technology does a great job of managing those high energy uh, linear uh, impacts. You know, we studied a lot of injuries in the past, and we found out that um, injuries can occur when a player falls down and hits, smacks the back of their head on the ice. Uh, especially those high energy hits, that's, that, that's where it usually occurs. So that's actually where we put the 7 tech. We embedded it uh, into this key area in the back through here. Um, so if a player does slip and fall or gets hit and falls on the back of their head, um, you know, you have this material there. And then um, what about up into uh, the kind of forehead region here? It looks like there were some cool improvements that I saw. Yeah, definitely. We uh, included this new moisture management system. Uh, one, it adds a level of comfort but two, it also has channels in it. So, you know, traditional helmets, player leans forward, a lot of moisture or perspiration, you know, comes out onto their face or on their face mask or visor. Uh, and so these channels do a good job of actually angling that moisture away uh, from the eyes. Awesome. Well, I guess continuing with the uh, comfort, uh, let's go out, out onto the shell and look at that new fit system, how it kind of has a, you know, different kind of work than what we saw in the React. Okay. So this is uh, what we're calling, if you want to trade here, yep. what we're calling uh, your fit system. It's composed of three different uh, elements. We have a central toolless adjustment. So, so a, a quick and easy adjustment, what we did is we inverted it um, from previous models. And what that does, it just allows it to, to one, lock better. And it also stays very stable at, at, at impact. Uh, another key element is the occipital lock located in the back uh, to help stabilize the back of the head. Uh, during play. Uh, as you can see, we went back to a two dial system that functions great uh, and allows you to, you know, still put your helmet numbers and, and all the good stuff that kids like to do. So, and then the third component uh, is what we're calling the uh, side adjustment. Think of it like a spring or like a coil uh, that really works to uh, stabilize, you know, and give your, your um, give your head a complete lock, like a 360 degree lock. With that good comfort, just kind of holding it there, but not over tight. Or exactly. It's, it's got a spring coil, so it's angled in. So depending on your head shape, if you have a wider that head, it's wide. going to come out. Awesome. If you have a more narrow head, it's, you're going to feel it. So it's actually locking uh, your head into place. Awesome. And the other really cool thing that I liked about the 100 was the customization options. Uh, you know, there's tons of different shell colors. Um, can you tell me a little bit about that? Or? Yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's definitely a, a trend that we see out in the market, with, especially with a lot of teams, uh, is the ability to customize your helmet. So we have uh, 525 different color combinations between shell uh, and inserts. Well, I think you guys did a really great job with this product. Thank you for all the great information. For even more information on this React 100 from Bauer, be sure to check it out at inlineandicewarehouse.com.